at internment camps for ethnic and religious minorities in China, um, according to former detainees. They injected us from time to my time, uh, claimed Gulbar, Gulbhar, Jailova, I can't pronounce your name, sorry, who was held for more than uh, for more than a year in government re-education centers um, in in the far west Xinjiang region. We had to stick our arms out through a small opening in the door. The 50 year old told France 24. We soon realized that after our injections that we didn't get our periods anymore. So has this been verified, Chipam? Yeah, various sources are saying yes, this is verified. And uh, they have like said that there are concentration camps for Muslims and other uh, ethnicities in China. But China is saying like those are just uh, boarding schools. Yes, I don't trust anything China says. But like, okay, so why, why is the, why is the entire world letting China get away with this? This is insane. This is insane. You know, the the the, the way this is, there have one million Muslim in, in in camps, right? This is the one of the worst worst. Uh, I mean, this is we're getting close to um, Nazi Germany's level oppression, right? And not only the, not only the world seems to be not reacting to it as much as they would if this was happening somewhere else, but also Muslims, on you know, on average, are not responding to this with that much anger. In fact, China and uh, in fact Saudi Arabia and Pakistan sent of letters, official letters, saying that they approve of what China is doing. The, which and also like you know, which which suggests to me like you know if this was done by Israel like what China is doing to Muslims right now is way beyond what Israel or like United States or white supremacists ha are doing to Muslims and and people don't seem to give a shit. So yeah, I th I think that uh, China is getting away with this because well, first of all, China is a powerful nation, yeah. and second is uh, like I think it is because of their permanent membership on the Security Council. I don't know, but that could be a reason. No, but but I mean, if this was, I mean, if this was Iran or what, oh, I don't know. Maybe Saudi Arabia is on Security Council too. But when they if when they uh, do something like this, it gets a lot of attention. Though. I don't know. Or, no, China, China is one of the five permanent members, right? Oh, permanent so, members, yeah. Okay. No, so I, they can I, veto any stuff they want. No, but I'm not just talking about political pushback. I'm talking about people, a big activists, news, were Muslims protesting in the street. Like, okay, we're talking about one million people arrested for for the crime of being Muslim in China. Yeah, right? that, that's but, that's probably because like. Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, these countries are like highly dependent on China and they're just throwing some few Muslims under the track to protect themselves. Yeah, but it's not just the government systems, it's also the people. I mean, I, to be fair, there are some Muslims that are trying to bring attention to this, but, but even the people, most Muslims are not reacting to what China is doing compared to what they would have done if it was one of the traditional enemies they recognize like if israel was doing a fraction of what china is doing this this would be they would be shouting it out and uh, shouting this in every mosque right now right like they're talking about this but china gets away with it and not not it's not just the government that is excusing what china is doing not just governments but also the people um a lot of people a lot of people in pakistan for example love china because of all the trade and all the money that it's bringing in. It's just bizarre. And you know, the thing is that uh, United States, if, I think like China and India are eventually going to replace the United States as the world superpower, right? And both China and India are way more anti-Muslim than United States ever will yeah. ever be. And it's very interesting because Muslims see United States as the great devil. 
But once China and India become the superpowers, I think Muslims are going to miss United States as a superpower. <laughs> They're going to be like, we were, very, we were treated yeah. very well as, as, with, as United States compared to, in, you know, like, I mean, it's, it's interesting to me that Muslims consider the United States to be anti-Islam anyway, given how, you know, how much... How much, how close of a relationship United States has with like Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, um, or like so many other Islamic yeah. countries? It's just, but but when it comes to China and oh my God, it's so. I, don't know, I mean, I I, I I can say something like uh, I think I know why India gets away with it. I don't know about China, but India is probably like. Uh, the it's not exactly directly from the government it's like a mob rule the mob is uh, lynching on muslims and all and while the government people are like uh, criminalizing triple talaq going to kashmir region and feeding some muslims and they are mm. publishing that on media while they are leaving out these lynching cases so that's probably a reason why india might be getting out with it. Well, I mean, okay, so when it comes to India, though, the Muslims in Pakistan and the Muslims in India, they do call that out. They do, but the, Mus the other Muslims around the world, what India is doing is not really that big on their list, right? Oh, like, even, even not every Muslim in India calls that out. Many support. Actually, many Muslims in India are anti-Pakistan. No, no, no. My point is that yeah. when, when India's government starts treating its own Muslims like second uh, you know, class citizens and uh, there are Muslims in India that bring attention to that but Muslims outside of India like Muslims in other countries they don't really care on that much about what India is doing to Muslims they do some of them do but not as much if they, they it has to be Israel or United States for them to start caring if so to probably me, that's to me, probably because of the color like they're white people so if they're well, doing something that's white supremacy no because I mean, no, yeah. yeah well because they because the way you define a tribe is by defining your enemy and you your entire you know your entire existence is going to be defined based on who you oppose right um and that's why you know it's not when you go out and speak against the people that are oppressing muslims it's not really about protecting the muslims it's about signaling that you belong to this tribe right and because that's the entire point is to signal your in, uh, signal that you belong to this tribe then, then if somebody else is oppressing muslims well that's really not fitting into our narrative so it's not as important for you to cover that so that's my that's how i see it i might be wrong anyways let me see what the okay nothing here Okay, t top comment is saying, but okay, so top comment, Michael is saying, keep up the good work. Fucking hell, man. Look at this. Our top comment on Atheist Republic is approving of China sterilizing women. This is fucking embarrassing. God damn it, Michael. Tracy is saying, but it's their culture. Who are we as white privileged Westerners to pass judgment onto that which we fail to understand? I hope this is a joke. I hope this is a dark, dark, dark joke. Um, I think it's satire, yeah. Uh, Patricia saying, spoiler alert, um, religious beliefs aren't genetic, they are learned. Every person is born an atheist. My God, another Robert, Robert is also saying, good job. See, we have atheists on Atheist Republic approving of I mean, this is this is crazy. This is crazy, yeah. But it's good. But it's good thing that we show people that this exists because a lot of atheists have this, un this um, are under this illusion that all oh, atheists are better, and we don't shy away from showing that. We you know our claim is that atheism doesn't make you less moral. But we don't we, we don't go as far as saying atheism makes you more moral we just want to say what our claim is like we're just as moral as other people right and we don't claim superiority because of atheism we just don't want to be treated as, as inferior so when the, we have a lot of people in our community atheists that think like oh we must be better because we're atheists and we want to highlight the co shitty comments like toxic comments like this 
to to show that like look at look we have we have some really messed up people in our own community not just atheists within the, our own atheist republic community so we do yeah i mean it. it's yeah. like uh, we don't have any means we take responsibilities for shitty stuff we don't yeah. like blame some uh, our religion i mean that's yeah. not how it works for us and we that's don't the difference and we don't try to hide it we highlight it yeah. and see it as a, we try to see it as a problem and try to see what we can do and we don't ban it this is exactly why we don't ban these people because we need them to show that this is a problem atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening let's make it difficult for them to ignore us we have built a global community and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.